So our journey starts at the Huguenot Tunnel on the N1 Highway. Now we were heading up to meet up with a few riders at the Dwerings next to the N1. Now you can see all the, the bonies are ready for adventure. Luckily we had a support vehicle. Shout out to Pockles uh, for loading up our gear so we didn't have to carry that. Now we were doing a three day camping in uh, Lanesburg just on the north of it. And here we're hitting straight the gravels. So we took the R318. And then we went through a few nature reserves, uh, eventually making our way to Arneisberg. Um, look at a, a few trucks, quite unexpectedly seeing trucks on that road. Uh, no traffic, but just two massive trucks. Um, now here is Peter. He's a legend I met uh, in Swellen Dam in September. Um, you only can really know this feeling if you have ridden before, because that is a special true feeling uh, when, you, when you're sharing the road with a buddy and, and you can share that stoke. Now here, another good thing is if you, if you get a flat, uh, the one Tenere picked up a nail, um, then you have the, the experts around. So there's always friends to help each other out. Uh, if you were alone, that could have been a bit of a story. Uh, this was quite a nice little scene here with a little isolated house and some beautiful rock formations. Um, so we were still heading on from the from the west to the east. Look at this nice array of motorcycles, KTM's and Yamaha's and Hondas. Oh, so beautiful. There's Peter, the wheelie king. Um, so we're arriving here now at Buffalo's Rafid Wild Camping. It's just on the north of Lanesburg on the N1 highway. I can fully recommend coming here. Really, really fun for, for 4x4 vehicles and definitely for the bonies. Look at that nice little lineup, the ladies. Look at that, the 650s, the 990s. Ah, oh, look at those two 660s, beautiful. Another dark horse. Uh, this is the little gathering area we were chilling at for the, for the fire, for the social, the bush TV, like we call it. Um, and there's a nice little reveal shot of the, of the campsite. Look at that, I can fully recommend. And as the evening started setting in, it got a bit more social. We got the meat ready for the braai. Um, here's a little fly off you can see. Uh, really, really nice. Uh, look at that. So the evening after the dinner, we were having a nice little party. A uh, nice big fire there. So day number two, we entered the 4x4 track. Yeah, you could choose your own line. Look at that, so fun. You can just, uh, you can just make your own way. You paint your own picture. It's all open canvases out there. Uh, the one guy <laughs> made his way up the riverbed and got stuck a bit in the sand there. So that's also why you have the friends, just to help each other out. Um, here's a nice little forest section. Um, it's mostly quite exposed there, but you do have these little forest sections. And then you've got these riverbeds, dried out riverbeds you have to cross, which makes it quite fun because you've got some soft sand, you've got some um, loose stones, river stones, a few little small water crossings. Um, now it's always uh, something new. And this was quite a nice little thick section we had to wrestle through. And here is the one Tenere rider owning it. What a legend. And you can see there's the 990 Adventure owning it, the 650. Yeah, yes, he's so fun. Yeah, we're crossing over another riverbed. Now, this one is actually where we ended up riding up and down. Um, really, really beautiful there. It's fun always when you have a tricky section, there's guys with cameras ready. Uh, so one of the riders put the girl down, got a little bit damaged. Um, luckily, there were a few guys to help out and get her fixed up. And then as the rain set in a little bit, we made our way up to the Klipstour, which is a little um, safe haven in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so it gets really hot here in the summertime and then also when the rain falls like this. So yeah, there's a nice bright place as well. You can make a fire. So we all got ready for the next part of the adventure. And uh, here we off. You see the rain started falling then. Uh, one of the Tenere rider got stuck there in the riverbed, so we had to pull him out. Again, that's why you need your friends. Um, I also got stuck. Quite a few of us got stuck. You need, you need some support when you're taking on these riverbeds. Uh, look how fun that is. Oh, just so good. There's a little name, the Klipstour. That's in the little rock house that you can uh, relax in. And then there's a little shot of the, of the river. Look how fun that looks. Oh, yeah, there's Peter coming in. Yeah, no, really, really fun, eh? Just an open canvas for you. Ah, oh, so Vlamin, there she's going. So yeah, look at that, that's, um, uh, that's the north side of it. And then we went exploring on the more lighter weight bikes. 
And we've got a little bit more heavier ones. My wet weight is around 200 kilograms. Um, so we were riding here at Two Spoor. It was so colorful. Uh, on the video, you can't really see it, but it was really beautiful colors um, uh, on that whole track. And here's the two brothers. They're both riding the Yamahas. The one's got a Super Tenere, and the other one has a 660, just like me. Um, really cool. There's all the riders lining up. We went for a little track on another Two Spoor. And there's my baby girl, Kaimani. So here we're heading back now to the accommodation side. Um, uh, you can see that soft sand. Yeah, it's so fun. We were messing around there, the two 660s. Yeah, it really is good. And then um, here I'm hitting now that river bank again. Uh, so you can go up and down and choose routes, whatever you can go. You can see there's a few of the motorcycle tracks, uh, but you still paint your own picture. It's still an open canvas for you. Um, and now this is us exiting from the, from the 4x4 track. Oh, so fun. Really, you see a few tracks there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was the 1660. We were riding together quite a lot. And now we're entering the um, campsite. So there you can see a nice little flyover. Um, and then that's where we entered when we finished. And here is a little reveal shot where you can see the river that you would start the trail or finish the trail from. Um, there's a nice little social gathering again. There's more than one fireplace. Um, it's like uh, Zander being stoked. So the next day, the rain was falling so hard that the rivers flooded. So the rivers we were actually having fun on was complete flooded. Uh, we had to take a little exit, which is this route now. So there's a road that avoided the river, which was super fun anyways. And then we ended up with the Witteberger Road going from the east to the west. There's Peter again. How pretty is that scene? And here we're saying bye. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little movie and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one then.